I want to show you a complete purchase, sales, and return cycle in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We'll start with the purchase order. We'll receive that in. We'll process a customer sales order out to a customer. And then we'll process a customer return and return to vendor. We'll also use a serialized item number from my inventory so you can see how that works as well. So let's get started. This is my purchase order here. On it, I am purchasing some solid state drives. I'm gonna purchase 10 of them. This is a serial number controlled item. So I'm gonna specify that. When the shipment comes in, I need to record the serial numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. And typically here, you would use a barcode solution to read the numbers off the packages as they came into your organization. I'm just gonna assign serial numbers so we can get moving forward here. And now I've got 10 new serial numbers for this particular item. I'm gonna close this window. I'm then gonna receive this into inventory in the main warehouse location and create a vendor's invoice in accounts payable. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a sales order out to one of my customers. They want five of these solid state drives. So I put that on the order. I need to select the serial numbers. I'll do that right now. I'll select the entries. These have been selected for me automatically, but I don't want these. These are not the ones that ended up on the customer order. But these five did. These are from the last shipment from the vendor. They're on this order. I want to recognize that. Here are the serial numbers. Close that. And then from here, this invoice is ready to go. I've got the pricing here. I've got the items specified and the serial numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. We'll ship it and invoice it at the same time. A little while later, the customer indicates that one of the drives I sent them is defective and wants to return it. So I'm going to create a sales return order for that item. I've got the sales return order started. And what I can do is look up the invoices that I recently sent the customer and grab those lines. I'm going to prepare here, get the posted document lines. Here's the invoice that I just sent out. I'm going to select that. Hit OK. This is nice because it references the previous invoice number on which I'm returning one of those items. And what I need to do then is select the correct serial number. And the customer indicated to me that the item being returned is this serial number right here. I'll go ahead and delete the others. So I've got the correct serial number here. I'll put the right quantity here. This has been properly priced out. And what I can do is I can apply this credit to my customer's accounts receivable. I'll apply it to the invoice that we just sent them. That invoice is here. I'll set the applies to ID, hit OK. What I can also do is because I'm gonna send this item back to the vendor, I can create a vendor return document right from this sales return order. So let's do that. I'm gonna create the purchase return order here. I'm not gonna create a purchase order to replace that and I'm not gonna send it out to the client right at this time. So I'll go ahead and do that. It creates this purchase return order right here. Here's a return order to my vendor. I'm gonna enter the RMA number from my vendor. I've got this one line item here. I need to specify the correct serial number. I'll do that right now. Here's the serial number I want right here. I'm gonna grab that one. This is gonna go back to the vendor. Coming out of the main location, I've got one. I'm gonna also apply that entry to the vendor's invoice. Here's the vendor's invoice. Set the applies to ID. I'm gonna go ahead and post this. We'll ship it invoice on the same document. And I'm done. This was a complete purchase sale and return cycle in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We created a purchase order, received that in, processed a customer sales order, processed a customer return, and took that item and returned it to the vendor. 